if you have been looking for a good sewing machine that is affordable, durable, and beginner friendly, then this video is the one to watch. I got my brother LS14 about two years ago and it was so good I actually got a second one which I would use for like my one on one sewing classes. So this video is going to be like a two years after has the machine been good? Has it lived up to the name? I mean, for the price I paid, which was £70, there is not really a lot to complain about. I'm just going to be talking you guys through some of the points that I think you should be aware of before buying the machine yourself or if you have the machine, just to expect going along the way. So make sure to keep on watching to find out what these points are. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's get straight into this. <laughs> I got my brother LS14 in about 2018 and I just wanted to talk through the basic anatomy of the machine. As you can see on the front here, it comes with about 14 stitches consisting of zigzag, straight stitches as well as a buttonhole stitch. Also in the front, you have the button to do your reverse stitch which helps you secure your seams when you sew. On here, you would also find your tension knob, which helps you to adjust your tension lower or higher if you wanted to. I like to keep mine around four or five, which is like average tension, and it works for most fabrics. On the back here, you would see the lever that helps you lift the footer up and down. You also find on the side the power switch and the point where you plug the cable for the footer, which is electric. And I normally just place this on the floor and sew with my bare feet. That's how I work. It also comes with some spare needles, the footer for the buttonhole, the footer for the zip, as well as two plastic bobbins. When I bought it, it was £70 on the Amazon website. So I checked again recently and I noticed it's about £80 now and is under the name Berta LS14S. I think they probably updated some of the machine parts, just, I don't know, made some changes here and there, but it basically looks the same in terms of the design in the front and the general structure of the machine. Another thing I really, really like about this is that uh, it's really lightweight. I actually measured it on the scale and it weighs less than 10 kg. So you can definitely travel with the machine if you wanted to in like in your luggage, in your bag, without it weighing your sort of travel plans too much. So in terms of durability, it is really, really durable. I have been using it for, I've been using my first one for about two years. I bought my second one not too long after. I've worked through three collections with this machine. I have done over 20 sewing classes with these machines. I have done tutorials, lots and lots of tutorials, different fabrics, different types of stitching, different techniques and it actually stood the test of time. Hopefully it will moving forward, but so far, so good. So another amazing thing about this machine is that it's really easy to thread. It actually comes with instructions like from point A to point B, C, D, moving forward to tell you how to actually thread the machine. I have a separate video where I show you how to actually thread the machine when I got my second one. Some people have complained that I missed some steps and please refer to the guide if you just want something that is straightforward. As someone who is very visual and very creative, I have to give props to the design of the machine. I actually like the fact that it is sort of like visually pleasing and visually aesthetic. So I like what they've done in the front here with like the repeated squares of green, navy blue and teal and then you see the brother logo and the LS14 on the front and everything is relatively clean and just sort of like kept fresh and modern. So now the question I get a lot in my comment section is can this machine sew all kinds of fabric? Do you have to adjust the tension? Do you have to adjust the stitching? What does it stitch like with stretchy fabric? Can it stitch wool? Can it like all these questions about what kind of fabrics it can stitch and I can confidently say for all the products I've done it has been able to stitch all of them if you are stitching any seam that is more than four layers 
it would really really struggle like it would actually struggle to the point that the stitches will be jumping and you might have to go back either trim that seam a lot thinner or reduce the layers but anything more than four if it's a thick fabric it would struggle if it's something like silk chiffon like you know your lighter weight fabrics you can definitely stitch up to four with no issues but if it's wool heavy denim felt heavy scuba anything that is you know like thin slices of bread it will struggle so just keep that in mind if you're going to do like any heavy duty projects you might want to consider i don't know changing how you put your pieces together so the second thing you should keep in mind about this machine in terms of like the not so great parts is that you have to buy another invisible zip footer if you really want to have a very beautiful finish when installing your invisible zips the one that the machine comes with is it's like half an inch wide on the on the foot and it doesn't let the needle get very close to the edge of the zip at least when i tried it it really didn't let me so i had to go on amazon find another foot and i got that one and that one works a lot nicer that one is like a silver metal foot that is really nice and narrow it's about one centimeter or less and it really lets me get very close to the teeth of my invisible zip so if you would be doing that just as you're buying the machine just look for an invisible zip foot i just add it in your basket just just order but to just save yourself the headache honestly so the third thing that you should expect that you will struggle with is if you are using any thread that is wide like this or bigger than this anything that is not like that anything like this what would happen is as you start to sew the thread would gradually go beneath this part of the rod where the spool of the thread sits and it would just catch itself around there and you find yourself going back to like unthread it, rethread it, so it just moves smoothly. What you can do to avoid that is you can just put this big um, piece of spool of thread in like a jar behind the machine. So it just the thread just comes out smoothly and you don't struggle as you sew and you don't have to think about if the thread is catching itself or not. Something else that you might experience is natural wear and tear on this side where you have the logo and the branding on the side. So just keep that in mind, but it's nothing to be worried about, honestly speaking. There's not really a lot of negative things I can say about the machine. And that's from my experience of sewing different garments, working with different people, beginner, intermediate, experience. Everyone has had relatively positive feedback to give about this machine. And for the price you are paying, you really get a lot of value. Like it's easy to thread, it's easy to install, it's electric and it has a pedal. You just need to plug it into your power source, connect it on the side and it just sews very easily another thing i really like about this machine is that it's easy to transfer around your your studio so if you have a space like me where my dining table becomes my sewing table you can just move it from here to there without really thinking about or taking it apart and putting it back together so the easy construction easy easy threading easy and clean design just makes it really 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 worth the coin so would i suggest you get the brother ls14 or ls14s i highly recommend it it is really beginner friendly it comes with an instruction manual as well if the video i have on my channel is not really hitting home for you or is not really doing it for you you can follow that instruction manual as well it tells you how to thread the machine how to thread the bobbin and you would just be very impressed with how much work you can actually do with the machine so if you have any questions make sure to share them down below i'm also curious to find out what kind of sewing machine you're working with at home if you're looking to buy a new one if there's any other beginner friendly ones that you can recommend feel free to share below so people who are actually looking to get sewing machines have a few options to consider some people might want to invest a bit more money some people might want something that has more stitches than this one actually has because this one only has about 14 stitches some people might want more decorative stitches some people might want something that has like you know the digital display going on 
if you know anything that works like that and has all those features and there's a good price point please share them down below share links if you can as well so we just you know help each other out as much as we can we're still in lockdown in the uk so i'm sure a lot of people are looking to buy new sewing machines um let me know how your search is going if you have any questions share them down below as well and if you have any video suggestions for future videos on the channel please 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 share them down below and use the hashtag kim dave request because that way i'm able to filter through questions and through comments to know which one is actually a video request that you want me to make on the channel so until my next video i hope you found this one useful if you did please give it a thumbs up stay safe stay positive stay healthy and stay happy and i'll see you guys in my next one bye